Hey guys, today we're gonna check out the most epic combos in Mobile Legends. Like this insane bursting glue combos and build. And some amazing team combos like Franco and Novaria. This crazy Paquito Flicker combos. But first, check out this unstoppable Gushin. Gushin Magic Mark combo tutorial. One of the Magic Mark Gushin combo. Throw second skill. Just as daggers are about to launch, use your mark. As soon as mark animation started, you have to ult. See, you have to be extremely fast. Alright, so this is talking about that um fast fastest combo talking about in Gaussian. So in the tutorial set, I believe it he's trying to say when the animation going, when you use the second skill, and then the second skill is uh, spreading daggers, right? So why spreading daggers? You already have to skip press the skills, move your skills, press the skills already, like a prediction. Act a little faster than you thought it. This is pretty tough, but yes, uh, you have to think it, you have to predict a little bit before you started combo that's pretty hard maybe you guys can you guys need a fast internet connection oh no low latency then it's impossible louis combo oh that, that was actually interesting here so alt acting hit hit skills and there we go alt hit the first skill and then taking the ult Go behind and finish your second skill. This looks interesting. Very interesting. Ult, hit it, go back, behind, finish. But make sure that if you if you do this one, you have to, you must hit the first skill. That's good. This is not combo. This is just this is just like a major assassinating behind. I would like to say this is just a smart, just a smart play. It's not like a combo. Everyone know about the Louis combo. If you haven't played a Louis before, first skill, second skill combo, like a bursting, the matching the opposite colors match. But in this video, I will say that she already know about the where she has to go. Predict hit predict and finishing no nice. anyway this combo is a very risky that was smart combo Amen, brother. Right, this is a combo for the uh, franco oh, that's interesting here so same same angles same hoop but you have a more radiance you have a more radius about the hoop range because so about Novaria ultimate. This guy is just good at hook guys. <laughs> ah, this, isn't that bug? This is a fucking. This is uh, just bug. <laughs> Bruh, this is a bug. <laughs> I mean, of course. Is it's gonna be the skills, but the last part I would like to say the last part the cooking irritel it was just a uh, lucky. That was actually good to see the Novaria ultimate can extend the target area, so you have more range when you try to hook. I think it's including the other heroes too. Yeah, that's why Novaria was uh, OP. I think in this video is talking about that. Uh, even if you're bad at hook, slightly missing the hook within your Novaria, you can just catch them. You can just hook everyone. Sometimes you get them all at once. Lunox, Ruby, Didi. What? Oh, delay Ruby Didi combo. Yes, because of the, our MS, our latency, right? Our latency delays. <laughs> so he's talking about the use the third skill first. Is it actually work? Third skill and try to do the Ruby Didi. It's a pretty simple that of just a uh, first skill and spamming ult. 
Third is Q and first is Q. All three. Seems like third is Q is working well because of the animation delay. I'm not. I'm. I don't know. I can try. Is the third skin actually making you better to do the combo? This is, I think, just a tiny combo. If it's worse, then please leave the comments. Just uh, without using the third skill and use, without using third skill. I'll try after this recording too. You got a good taste. Kagura combo. The basic combo. One, three, one, two, three, two. One, three, one, two, three. Two, three, two, three. Is, is it actually a basic combo? One, three, two, one. Oh. That was good. Make sure that you have to be accurate. One three flicker one three. I, I like the combo. Someone found the combo. So good. You're gonna be dead after using flicker. Nice, nice. The combo is actually good. Wow. Wow. That was very uh, interesting for me. I haven't played a Kagura for a long time. Oh, that that was actually good. Like uh, using the first skill to the your uh -huh. behind with the ultimate flicker, take back your umbrella, and then jump into the enemy so you can burst it. Whenever you use the first skill to the enemy side, people are gonna see you're throwing the umbrella. So if you just threw your umbrella behind of your character, then yes, the enemy couldn't see that. Enemy couldn't even know you used the ultimate. Yikes! That was a good trick. Benedetta! Trick! 312! Nope! Don't do the 312! That's what he's saying. So D3, DDD, 1, 2, D. DDR. Dash. Benedetta trick is a very uh, tricky. Yep, 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 yep. Situation combo. Very hard. Nice. That was good. That was really good. Second skill Ultimate Petrify. Ultimate Petrify. <laughs> look, Matt Marksman. The Benedetta Trash took it. Look! Look at the Matt Marksman! <laughs> <laughs> he was trash talking. I got you, bro. He was trash talking there. <laughs> I'm not good at Benedetta. I still don't know how to play Benedetta. The combo is actually situational, I would say. If you just keep playing the Benedetta, you know how to use a passive well. And then you just mix it with the second skill, first skill, ultimate. And then, yeah, just uh, keep trying to using the passive one, dash one. Yeah, that's how to play Benedetta. But I I'll say I can't play like that because I haven't played the Benedetta much. But anyway, it looks very fun to play it. Look at the glue build. <laughs> Look at the full mage build. No way. <laughs> Ultimate damage is insane. Yeah, flicker first skill, second skill. I died uh, many times against the against the glue combo. Yep, first skill, first skill flicker. That's a really good combo. I feel like... I feel like this is not showing the combo. This is like showing... Um, damage glue. The power of damage glue. Look at this. First skill, second skill and die. First skill, second skill, die. 
I only play the glue like a few games. If I have to play the glue in solo rank, I would try that build. <laughs> Troll. No stack combo. So, Pakito combo here. No stack combo. 2 1 3 3. 2 1 3 3. Yeah, there's a basic combo. Full stack combo. 3 3 1 2 3. Yep. 3 3 1 2 3. Yep. That's the, also the assassinating combo. 2 3 2 1 3. There's a bursting combo, but. Flicker combo 3. Hmm. Must you must hit that, and then the damage build here. Yeah, I like the f I, I like the flicker second skill combo more instead of a flicker the third one. I will just clap this. Have you ever played a Paquito before? You guys have an experience that you're gonna miss that your offer cut. And then you have an experience that you missed the second skin, third skill one. If you try to use the skills, you actually have to play Paquito more or you have to practice that Paquito's the distance. It's gotten too complicated. We can see this guy was a very accurate combo. Of course, we can't decide that this guy was good because he was just clips. But in that video, we can see that he was a very accurate, very good. Hayabusa combo. Hayabusa versus Hanzo. Strongest ninja. Yeah, we see uh, we see this combo last time. That was actually good. Oh, this guy has really. Oh, this guy is uh, pretty fast. Good combo. Good combo. Second skill. Oh, uh, this is like a trick for the Hayabusa passive one. So whenever you, you just move your shadow spots, your first skill cooldown get reduced. It. So in this case, you can use the first skill two times. Estes Digi. Sounds so nasty. Oh my God. Sounds so nasty, bro. <laughs> bro, is it is this stupid or what? This is stupid. Now hold on. Why why assets needs it? Oh I assets bursting damage, the passive one, right? Second skill passive. Sing sing. What the heck? What is that? Bruh. You can you can use a second skill dash out of dash! <laughs> That's unlucky. <laughs> That's unlucky though. Nowadays, we can't play this one anymore. Because Diggy, Diggy changed it. What the dog doing? <laughs> My eyes! The Beatrice, the ultimate! Bruh! I think there was a panic moment for that, uh, like, uh, low-tier players. Whenever you see the lot of bombs suddenly from the bush, probably you're gonna be like, um, oh! Oh, 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 But anyway, if you go high tier, then you can expect that the spot where Diggy can set the bombs. If you go to high tier, then that trick's not gonna work. Especially, nobody picked the S test there. I mean, a few people pick S test for the strategy, not just pick for like a randomly, always something like that. And Diggy also situational. But we all know that the Diggy can assassinate, squish people like that. But make sure that don't face challenge the bush against the diggy unless you're tank good tip how was the today's most epic combos guys if you guys like this video and more videos then please hit the like and subscribe it was good time g4 <laughs> Don't cry.